All right, everyone, Sandwich here with a very different video, but this has to do with Godot, especially exporting to iOS in particular. Uh, this is something I learned from actually exporting my math app to both uh, Android and then trying to export to iOS. There's a couple of settings in iOS that are different, and Godot has a couple of weird settings here. This is Godot uh, 3.5.2, but it is in all the 3.5s. I don't know if it is in 4. Point as well, but there's two things you should really pay attention to. Uh, to make sure your export to iOS goes smoothly. And they're all in the project settings, not in the sport export itself. One of them, you can see right here on the screen, it is the orientation of your handheld. Now, you can have a portrait mode, you can have landscape mode, but if you want landscape mode on your app and you want it to work properly on iOS uh, 15 or below, you need sensor landscape. If you do normal landscape, any iOS 15 or below will try to show your app in portrait and it will look horrible. This is something I learned the hard way. So apparently sensor landscape is the way to go. Don't know exactly what the difference between sensor landscape and landscape is, but this is just better safe than sorry. All right, second tip. In Godot, I don't know why, there is a set input delay specifically for iOS iOS touch delay. This thing is by default set to 0 0.15. This is a 115 millisecond input touch delay on every iOS, um, or every Apple phone, basically, right? any iPhone. I, you, you probably just want this set to zero. I don't know why uh, there is an input delay here specifically for iOS, but you should be aware that it exists and you should probably set it to zero. So that's it. Two simple tips. Uh, I'm Sandwich. Have a good one.